those dirty habits that you want no one to know about, your older brother knows about. I know you're doing them in the dark. I know you're doing them and you feel like trash and you're not realizing that those dirty habits are what are keeping you weak. For example, every time you masturbate, every time you masturbate, you feel it, bro. You feel your masculine energy being flushed away. And you feel it because you feel guilty. You know something wrong just happened. You just unleashed all that test, all that energy, all that dopamine, all that motivation down the toilet. That's what you basically did. And those of you that are doing it five, six times a day, just imagine what you are depleting. That's why you're weak. That's why you're docile. That's why you can't even look a woman in the eyes. You don't have the motivation, the strength, the dopamine, the drive to do so because you so easily do it in the dark when no one is looking. Six to number two, you lack accountability. You are here in your current position in life because of you. No one else put you here. You're here because of you. I don't care about your whining, your complaining. You can cry all you want, but you will only get out of this based on you and your own ability. You need to start taking accountability. And yes, by the way, there might be external factors affecting your life. I'm not discounting that. The problem is that you can whine and complain about these factors all day long. No one's going to come to save you. Nobody cares because everybody else is dealing with their own problems. So if you want to get out of your current situation of your life, it only depends on your own ability to sit down, be rational, be logical, and figure out how the hell to get out of your current predicament. It's all about accountability. Take responsibility for everything that's happening in your own life. And look, that's not easy, bro. I'm not telling you it's going to be a freaking walk in the park. My entire life, I've dropped into these videos. Every progression in my life that I have struggled, I have dropped here with information so you can also learn. But the problem is with 3,000 plus videos of information, it, it becomes hard for you to like make a split second decision, right? What should I do here? And we've been working on something. We've been working on something big, actually. Um, this is going to be a beta, right? Uh, so it is first come, first serve. It is linked already in the description. But before you go, let me explain it. Don't just run. I wanted to build something where I could help you instantly. Like instantly. I'm there. Boom. I'm helping. And it, and it won't be me. It's literally all my information. And we're using AI to process through everything to give you responses as quick as possible. Basically how it's going to work, it's, it, right now it's a web app, but then we're going to build it into an actual application. Right now it's in a beta process. So I don't know how much our servers can handle. Basically how it's going to work, in any situation in life, that's anything in men's improvement, which is what I focus on, what I try to help you in. This could be business, this could be dating, this could be style, this could be grooming, this could be finance, this could be fitness. Any question you have, our web app will have an answer for it because I've already talked about it and it'll be instant. And I'll give you an example how good it is, or I think it is, and you can test it out. Let's say you're, you're texting a girl, yada, 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 you hit a bump in the road. You don't know what to say. You would love for me to be in the room and tell you what to say. This is what this does. You could literally be like, uh, hey, Jose, uh, I just told the girl this. She texted me this. What do I say next? Boom. Instantly, you get a response. You're at a social event. You see a girl. I want to approach her. I don't know what to say. Give me a few lines. Boom. You step into the gym. It's your first time. You know what? Uh, I, I, I want bigger biceps. I want bigger delts. I want bigger chest. What should I do? Boom. Here are some workouts that you can perform. This is how you perform them. Like, any question. I have a business, uh, I do e-commerce, I don't know how to sell my product, what type of marketing can I do? Boom. Any question you could possibly have that it's about self-improvement, that you need an instant decision so I can help you, I'm going to have. And like I said, it's a beta, so I don't know how much servers can handle all the inputs. It's going to be linked down below. Now the idea is, obviously it will be a paid service. Uh, for right now, for the first, let's say, three to four or five questions, we're going to block it to a certain amount. Because again, I don't know how much we can handle. It'll be free. I want you to truly test it out. Push it to its limits. Ask it difficult questions. Don't make it easy, right? Don't be like, uh, I have a blue shirt. What pay? No, make it compelling questions. Look at the responses. Are they helpful? And then give me feedback. Because that's how we perfect the AI, right? This is going to build. So it's basically machine learning. So it'll build on all your inputs and information and on your feedback to make sure we give the most accurate feedback. So every answer I give you helps you win. Yo, if you guys want to check it out, click that link down below. We're continually building this out. This is going to be crazy. This takes you to number three. You do not care about how you dress. That makes you weak. You do not understand how you look 
It sends a message. It also manipulates how others perceive you. If you want total control of a room or a social interaction over another person, you do that with your clothing. You can manipulate if you, see, if you want to seem smarter, more mature, more attractive, more masculine. You do that with the clothes you wear and you don't even care what you put on. Bro, you don't understand how you dress matters because everybody's making split-second decisions about you. And if you don't care about what you're putting on, you could be miscategorized, which could be a bad deal or end up losing that potential job or end up losing that potential connection that could have propelled your career forward. Four, getting road rage. And again, it's not just specifically road rage, right, so that makes you weak. It's the loss of emotional control. And this is something that I'm talking to myself, right? I think every man has to deal with the loss of emotional control because it's so easy for a split second to lose your cool, to lose your temper. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If another man can control you emotionally, you've lost. You're the weaker opponent because that means you don't even have complete autonomy over yourself, over your emotions, over your thoughts, over your actions. As a man, that should be your daily struggle. Every day, when I'm just right about to lose my temper, it's like I have a thought in my head and I'm like, yo, relax. He can't control you like that. Chill out, right? Because at the end of the day, you could also be saving your life. Most of these times when you're losing your cool, you have no idea who's strapped. You have no idea who has a knife. Yo, they could take your life in a split second because they got nothing to lose and you got everything ahead of you. Number five. Being broke, you have to understand financial literacy matters. And whether you're managing $5 in your bank account, 5,000, 50,000, or half a million, or 5 million, it's all the same. If you can't manage five, you won't manage five million. It's no different. If you can't understand, all right, manage expenses, know where my money's being drained, and also manage income sources and how to double that. If you can't understand those simple concepts and practice them on a monthly basis to know where you're standing financially, again, $5 or $5 million, it's all the same, you'll lose it all. And you have to understand that as a man, when you have no money, you are powerless. You truly feel weak and powerless. You can't enjoy an experiences. You can't do what you want. You can't go out when you want. You can't get that meal that you want. You can't get that vacation that you want. Once you start truly gaining control of your finances, even at 500 bucks, I'm telling you, once you have money in your bank account, you feel powerful, which takes me to number six, you run away from failure. Right? You have to understand that failure builds character. When you're going through crap, it feels the worst. Uh, most of you, at one point, will see my documentary on the road to becoming a billionaire because I'm recording everything, every downfall. Like, this is stuff that you've never, re I have probably 50 plus hours of footage at this point. Everything, bank accounts, money spent, money lost, bad deals, bad decisions. Everything. When you guys watch that, you will realize just how much it sucks to bet on a daily basis and lose. Because most of the time you will lose. See, growth happens slowly and then fast. And most of you are afraid of that slow growth that takes a lot of failures, a lot of failures. And then once you figure something out, it's like a rocket ship. But you will not get to that point if you're scared of failure. Because most of you are scared of failure, you will stay in your same stagnant position for the rest of your life because you don't want to experience what it's like to hit rock bottom. But when you do, when your back is against the wall, that is when real character is built and that's when you become a stronger man. And then finally, number seven, being lazy and unproductive. Again, that, that, that dirty little habit that nobody else knows of, that on Saturdays and Sundays, that at nighttime, all you do is curl up in bed and just scroll through social media, right? That's your lazy weekend. That makes you weak as a man. Because your time is more valuable than anything. More valuable than any car, home, watch, money. It's more valuable than anything. The possibilities are endless. My 24 hours are your 24 hours are their 24 hours. The difference is how we're all spending it. And you being lazy and unproductive is making you weak because it's setting you up in life for failure. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be some dude like myself or like anybody else or some dude that probably hasn't even made it that's hungry that wants it all, and he will outwork you every single day of the week. And because you built up that habit, you won't keep up. And guess what? When that dude makes it, when he's rich, you're going to just sit and cry and be like, yo, tax the rich because life isn't fair. That's going to be your mentality. Don't be lazy, bro.